Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's review one of the high yield topics in cardiothoracic surgery that you may encounter on the Comlex board exam. And the question is as follows. A several days after following an esophagectomy, a patient complains of dyspnea and chest tightness. A large pleural effusion is noted on the chest radiograph and thoracentesis reveals a milky fluid consistent with chyle. And so your you know, initial management of this patient consists of which of the following procedures? Is it immediate operation to repair the thoracic duct? Immediate operation to ligate the thoracic duct? Tube thoracostomy and low-fat diet? Or observation and low-fat diet? And is it observation and antibiotics? Again, the answer here is going to be C, tube thoracostomy and a low-fat diet. Why? Well, chylothorax may occur after intrathoracic surgery or it may follow malignant invasion or compression of the thoracic duct. And two thoracostomy and a low-fat diet are going to be beneficial to the patient. Intraoperative recognition of a thoracic duct injury is usually managed by double ligation of the duct. And direct repair is impractical because of the extreme friability of the thoracic duct. And so injuries not recognized until several days after the intrathoracic surgery frequently heal following the institution of a low-fat diet and either repeated thoracentesis or tube thoracostomies because you'll drain the fluid out. A low-fat diet, medium-chain triglyceride diet often reduces the flow of chyle and failure of this treatment modality requires direct surgical ligation of the thoracic duct. This is best approached from below the diaphragm regardless of the site of the intrathoracic injury. So the answer here is going to be tube thoracostomy and a low fat diet. Another case involves two weeks following the initial management of this patient's chylothorax there is a persistent accumulation of chyle in the pleural space. Appropriate management now includes which of the following? Well the answer choices are neck exploration and ligation of the thoracic duct subdiaphragmatic ligation of the thoracic duct, um, thoracotomy and repair of the thoracic duct, thoracotomy and ligation of the thoracic duct, or is it thoracotomy and abrasion of the pleural space? The answer here, as we mentioned in the previous question's explanation, is going to be subdiaphragmatic ligation of the thoracic duct. This is the best approach um, and going from below the diaphragm regardless of the intrathoracic injury is the way to go. Thank you for listening to the Comlex Instant Podcast and good luck in your Comlex preparation.